And the death toll in eastern Kentucky has risen to 39 people after devastating flooding. Today, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir will give us an update on how the Commonwealth is trying to move forward and help those impacted. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell joins us now live with more on this. And the governor says that a lot of eastern Kentuckians really did lose everything they had. Yeah, Amy, you know, it's such a devastating situation there for our friends and neighbors in eastern Kentucky. And, you know, there's going to be a long road to recovery. And today we're expected to find out exactly what else there is to do moving forward. Now, we already know from local reports that there have been a lot of rescues. In fact, 1,300 of them were made between July 28th and August 2nd. Many survivors just lost everything. Now, there were 162 people in emergency shelters and 321 staying at state parks going into the weekend. Now, the National Guard has stepped up and they've handed out more than 39,000 bottles of water along with almost 44,000 mills. Now, that doesn't include all the volunteer groups that that went up to help. Now, local media outlets also report nearly 100 county roads have reopened, but about two dozen bridges are still impassable and at least 84 need serious repairs. Then there's this other big task of all that debris that's left over from the floodwaters. Now we're told that about 430 truckloads of debris have been taken out, but of course there's a lot of cleanup efforts still to happen. So we're going to be watching that press conference from Governor Andy Bashir to find out how the state plans to move forward and we'll keep you updated right here on News Channel 5.